Hello friends, so in today's video, I'm going to tell you how you can add a physical product in XFunnels and sell it on your web pages. So to start with, let us add two products. Just take for example, I have added these two products. I'll show you how you can add a product. Take for example, I'll add uh, a bike, that is a cruiser bike. Suppose you have an agency that sells uh, motorcycles. So I'll make a web page for that. And then I will link it to a checkout page and uh, where you can track the orders. All right. So in the product description, I'll write uh, it's uh, Harley Davidson. I'll select the billing type. I'll say one time. Pricing would be 5000 US dollars and the payment would be uh, so for this one you have to link uh, you have to integrate a payment gateway before you can see these options in the payment method all right so I have integrated PayPal with the name of Madhav so I will select this and then click on submit and I have this cruiser bike this is one product and I'll add another one I'll add a racing bike and its description would be KTM company racer all right and even its payment would be one time the pricing would be 4500 US dollars payment method same as before and I click on submit and this is added so after you have added the products the second step is to come to your funnels where you want to create a checkout page for this okay so in this one what you have to do is I just create a new funnel Click on next, funnel name is uh, demo of checkout. Alright friend, I think that is sufficient. Okay, a new funnel has been created and I will choose a template for my builder. I prefer a blank template. Alright, and I will edit this one all right so I will add an image Just take for example I have uh, this image fine this is my cruiser and now I will add my racing bike And suppose you want to add two buttons below them uh, and on their click you want to redirect uh, your customers to a checkout page so I will show you how you can do it suppose I add a text text all right Okay, the headline is here. I will copy this one and I'll select a second one here. All right, I'll uh, Harley Davidson and I'll uh, you can give any description to your item. And then, okay, this was another other one that was added. I'll delete this one. And now I will add a button, not a menu. I don't want a menu now. I will add a button from the form elements.
all right and uh, i will edit this one and the mode would be checkout this is the important button this one after you have selected the button you go to edit object and then click on checkout button and the label would be uh, click to buy all right and uh, i will add another button and even for this one i will change the edit settings and i'll change the mode to checkout and as soon as you click on the checkout one you see that this uh, icon is enabled earlier it was disabled you can see it here as soon as you click on the checkout button it the icon with the card gets enabled this means that you can add a checkout form for this one so in this i'll just change the text instead of submit i'll uh, tame this beast all right so after this i will click on this button i'll click on the product and i will select a product for this so i have added a cruiser bike worth 5000 us dollars and i will click on next after the payment uh, the person would be redirected to this particular url you can enter any url you, you want to redirect the customer to then I'll click on next the checkout title would be of your choice the order heading total and call to action pay now these are all, all text fields and uh, if you want the person's mobile number as well you can just click on this one and, and another field uh, with the phone number would be added after this click on next if you want the address of the person you can click on this one otherwise just click on finish and your checkout page data has been saved now I will save this page and I'll show you in the preview how it works. All right, so I'll click on this button and you can see that it is asking for my name. I'll enter my Gmail and I click on pay now. It will then redirect me to the PayPal site. All right. So after you log into PayPal, you have to pay and then after this, your order will be placed and you can track the order. I will show you later on where you can track your orders. So I won't do an actual payment over here, but you can definitely do and check it out. So I will, in the same way, I will add another button. So there was a doubt with, uh, uh, there was a doubt of most of the people that you can add only one checkout button per page but as you can see here i have added one button and i'll add another one and redirect it to another checkout page i'll show you how so you don't need to select this button okay you need to select this button before clicking on this product i can after this, I'll uh, select this racing bike worth $4,500. I click on next. Same text. And uh, in this one, I will say I need both the delivery and the billing address of the person. I click on finish. All right. I click on save. Now I will preview it again to check if both the buttons are working properly. All right. So I'll click on this button, tame this beast. 
and now I have you have to, the customer has to enter his name, email, billing address, and the delivery as, address as well. As you can see in the cruiser one, we had a price of five thousand US dollars, but for the racing one, we have a different price that is forty five hundred US dollars. So you can add multiple checkouts within a page. Click on pay now. Oh, it would needs you to enter the your information. I'll just enter any information for now. Something, something. City, some city, state, uh, some pin code, India, delivery address, or oh, anything you say. All right. Click on pay now. It will redirect you to the PayPal page, and there you can log in, and then the your customer can make the payment. And this is how it is done. Now I will show you where the person can track his order. All right. So after the payment order has been placed, you come back to this page and then click on my orders the icon with the cart you click on this one after this uh, this is not the payment that, that I did just now but these are the earlier payments that I did for test so as you can see the transaction ID the payer the payment method amount and the payment date is stored over here and for the entire summary of it, the uh, description of it, of this payment, you can click on this one. Here is the payment details with the transaction ID and all the other information like the IP of the person for which he made the payment, the funnel name, the funnel type, page name and the user details are shown over here. I hope it will help you add your physical products and sell them and make some money. Thank you.